a long time, we wouldn't write subject to sale offers because you would never get the home if your house wasn't sold and you weren't ready. But over the last year with rates climbing and buyer activity slowing down, subject to sale offers became a thing again. You could write the offer knowing that you have time to put your house on the market and hopefully you'll sell it before someone bumps you off of the house that you wanna buy. Well, I think your luck's changing. You see, just this week alone, I had a listing that had a subject to sale offer accepted on it and I had a buyer that wrote an offer on a house that had a subject to sale offer on it and both of those homes went with the new buyers. The first buyers that had the subject to sale offer got bumped off of both of them. Our inventory is at the pandemic level. It's at that level where it's very difficult to find a house. So with this increase in buyers coming to the market with interest rates dropping, it's getting harder and harder to buy a home with a subject to sale offer and be able to get your house sold before someone comes in and bumps you. So as it was looking promising that you could put an offer on a house and then list your house and sell it, it's just not looking so promising anymore. Again, we're going back to the point where we need to get our house sold before we buy another. I know you don't want to end up homeless. There's ways around that. I think your odds of completing that subject to sale offer and still getting the home by selling your home before someone else does, it's getting slimmer and slimmer.